morning guys welcome back to my channel today we are driving to ocean city i have not been to ocean city since i was like eight years old and it's only three hours for me um like literally three hours to the beach and i never go so today i am finally making the trek down one of my good blog friends b um she is from this area and she has lived in ocean city for the last few years and she asked if i would come hang out for the week so that she could show me some new bars new restaurants shoot some outfits see some of her favorite spots and you know tour ocean city like a local so that's what we're doing and then i am continuing on my way to the jersey shore for barefoot country music fest i'm super super excited it should be a really fun week so yeah Let's get after it. it says i have a three hour and 10 minute drive 160 miles which honestly is nothing Don't these days all right guys i made it to bees and look at how cute my room is welcome to ocean city love we are getting ready to go to a rooftop and have some hoop tea drinks so i've got on a cute little button up from boohoo my shorts are from american eagle i'm wearing my rainbow flip-flops i've got a bathing suit on underneath just in case and then my little trucker hat i bought from a spot called mcclubbins um in folly beach south carolina so yeah. Okay guys, I'm with me. So I woke up <laughs> I woke up a little hungover this morning and I drove three hours here and I get here and I'm like expecting to go shopping, like take it easy and B says, Hey, so put on a bathing suit, we're going to the rooftop to drink and I'm like, Are you serious? So that's what we're doing. I'm drinking a rum run. Can I get a peach hootie? <laughs> okay, so I thought that I was gonna be shooting content today. But B's boyfriend just hands me a bucket. I'm like, if I were gonna get drunk, just tell me. I just got a hot dog. Spencer's making me a hot dog. <laughs> okay guys, so it's already eight o'clock. Um, we were out at the hoop tea place drinking for a couple hours and if you know me you know I'm not a good day drinker and B was like let's come home for a couple hours and then we'll go out tonight and we came back and shocker we're not going back <laughs> I just can't guys <laughs> I want to be one of those people that can just rally for hours and hours, but if I'm drinking during the day and I come home for even a couple hours, I never make it back out. So we're having a cozy night in. Um, we just ordered pizza, we ordered some wings. Look at how cute Bee's house is, guys. She has flowers. So cute, and she just said, you just did it. You're doing a series on your blog right now yeah. about everything, aren't okay, you? I thought they were dead. I was like, those are my All right, tell us about what we've got here. We got cheese pizza, wings, and mozzarella sticks. <gasps> wow, where is this from? Um, I think Four Seasons. This oh, is this your like, favorite spot? No, I like Mioni's, but they took too long to deliver, so I couldn't wait. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. We took a little evening walk and watched a movie and now I am editing a YouTube video really quick before I go to bed. I want to get a try on haul up. I also need to edit last week's vlog which is like over an hour long but um, tonight is not that night. It's like 9.30. I'm going to go to bed and we're going to have a full sunny day tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Good morning guys. It is... Tuesday and we're getting ready to have a full day here in Ocean City. We are going to a spot called Barn 34 for brunch. I'm super excited. B said it's really good there. And then we're going to walk around the boardwalk a little bit. We're going to go to the beach and then we have dinner reservations at a cute little spot on the water tonight um, to watch the sunset. So it should be a good day. I'm excited to get out and explore. Yesterday was so rainy, so we didn't really get to see much. Anyways, so I'm about to shark my hair. reason when I use the shark lately or the Dyson it ends up making my front pieces like so intense and I hate the way that it lays on my face so lately I've been just like pinning back those front two pieces um, my little baby hairs are like poking out but I think it's cute this is what I'm gonna wear today my little romper is from Revolve it's Tularosa super cute uh, 
just has like a cutout along the stomach and then ties along the top and then I think I'm gonna wear these little raffia shoes from Dolce Vita. I brought these on one trip and they were not very comfortable which is strange because Dolce Vita shoes are like some of my favorite and I tried them on when I was filming a TikTok the other day and I was like I just have to break these in to make them more comfortable because they're the cutest most perfect shoe like that heel height is like perfect for every day for me and then I'm gonna bring this little clutch today that matches so cutesy your time and attention won't you give some of it to me i've been lonely lately i've been feeling neglected and i want you to show me can we get back on the same page okay guys we're down at the boardwalk right now and we're popping in and out of places we're in the candy kitchen first B said that the next few days are gonna be a food tour, or so. I think this one, it looks like it's. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've got one. Mm -hmm. It's like orange to dress. Yeah. I got the orange one. That one's like mint. We're in Quiet Storm right now, guys. One of the super cute surf shops here. Just looking around. And I love this Billabong sweatshirt. They have a few. You guys know me, I'm a sucker for them. Okay, so we're having brunch at a spot called Barn 34. And B said that this is one of her favorite spots. It's so cute in here. It looks really good. It looks authentic. So we got, she got a watermelon mimosa, which is their seasonal one. And I got it uh, virgin mocktail style because you all saw how day drinking went yesterday. And look what Brandy got. This is so crazy. It looks like a milkshake. On our road trip, we kept trying fried green tomatoes. And they have them here with pimento cheese and balsamic glaze. I forget what she said that was at the top. I can't remember either. It looks so good though. This has to be like the biggest omelet I think I've ever been served. I added pico and avocado and cheddar cheese and it looks so good. Potatoes. We got this side of Captain Crunch French Toast. That looks insane. And B got poached eggs. So we got over here. A little bit of everything. Eggs, bacon, literally everything. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, brunch was so good. My omelet was amazing. Potatoes were not my favorite, but the French toast, like little Captain Crunch duo, so good. Wow. Really homey vibe there. Really, really liked it. We are now getting ready to go to the beach for a few hours. Wearing this cute little smocked suit from Shein. They put this tattoo on me um, at the bar yesterday and I can't get it off. It says hoopty on it. So I'm going to go try to scrub it. But yeah, I'm excited. We're like, you can literally see the beach from my room. So right across the street, which is so nice. Yay, UV's 10. Let's go catch some rays. So I walked into B's house yesterday and she had two Tommy Bahama chairs in new plastic and I said, oh my gosh, you just got new ones? And she said, not only did I get two, but you influenced me to get them. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that's so good to hear. If there's anything I can influence you on, I hope it's a Tommy Bahama chair. Um, they sell them though, don't make the same mistake as B. They're $50 on Amazon and they're $30 from Costco. And um, they're just the best beach chair ever. Okay, I'm vlogging on my phone because I'm like so scared of getting my camera sandy but we are at the beach it's not as crowded as i remember ocean city but it's also a tuesday so i feel like that's part of it but yeah just put on some sunscreen got my tummy bahama chair and i'm about to crack open a book i'm starting this i love a good taylor jenkins read olivia gave me this when i was visiting her in pittsburgh the other day so i'm excited i didn't realize how used to the white sand i was getting like 3 30 right now we just got back to b's apartment it was just getting so 
like unbearably windy outside and honestly kind of cold so we came back we're gonna shower and get ready for an earlier dinner we're gonna go at like 5 30 since we just had brunch today and didn't end up eating anything else and then we're gonna grab some sunset pics i'm super excited i don't know if i got any oh i guess i did get a little i was like oh i don't think i got any sun i guess i did you guys i'm so happy because I had a new G7X uh, expedited here. I told you guys in my last vlog that I decided to get the Canon M6, which is what a lot of my YouTube friends use, and it was supposed to arrive in one day shipping, and it still wasn't at the house when I left yesterday morning. And I was like all set on that. I finally had changed my mind. I was like, I'm not going to give the G7X another try. But it was really upsetting me that I wouldn't be able to take pictures on it. So, and the G7X was legit sold out everywhere. As you guys heard me complain about a million times in my last vlog. But then Mary Margaret posted that B&H got it back in stock and I was like you know what I'm gonna give it one last try mostly because I have loved getting to take so many photos on it at sunset I think that I'm gonna stick with the m6 for vlogging just because I really don't want to run into any more issues with a g7x breaking but I'm sure I'll go back and forth um, I've had this camera like I said for so many years now that I just feel like it's my comfort piece but I'm really excited if you're on the hunt for one. Hopefully B&H still has them in stock. I'll leave it down below, but it came just in time to B's house. I had it expedited here so that we could take some sunset pics and stuff. So I'm gonna charge up the battery and we're gonna take it out. Hey guys, we're getting ready to get out of here. We're gonna go take some pictures. She's like a little mermaid, isn't she? So is it giving mermaid? <laughs> this is from Lulu's. And then I've got on Dolce Vita shoes and a bunch of random uh, beach accessories. I'm kind of thinking it's like a little overkill. Like I feel like I need to take off the shell ring because it's a lot with the shell belt and the starfishes. Yeah, I feel like the shell ring is The shell bit. ring like doesn't need its moment. All right. It, it's, I feel like it's either the belt or the ring. And I think the belt like is You need the belt. The belt is here. too boxy. Okay, your yeah. outfit, tell us about it. Abercrombie, Abercrombie. These are Abercrombie too? Yeah. Cute. Yeah, literally the only shoes I have them in three different colors. Love. Okay, everybody, we just wrapped up dinner. What was the name of the spot we just went to? The Hobbit. The Hobbit. Uh, it deserves more than a 10 on the atmosphere. It was a phenomenal interior, like my ideal type of restaurant vibe. It was giving very much the Carolinas, which I really enjoyed. And our food was good. I tried scallops that I actually liked for the first time, okay. guys. They were good there. Um, and we had that garlic dip. The garlic dip was really good. And we had great wine tonight, too. Um, it, it was very sweet, like Moscato. And now we're taking some sunset pictures. Okay, I'm hoping our pictures turned out cute. Just downloaded them to my computer and I'm looking through them right now. I wish I would have taken a few more, but oh well, still cutesy. Hopefully one of these will be good enough to post to Instagram. But I'm obsessed. B got some too. Okay, okay, we've just been hanging out on the couch. I feel like I've like hardly vlogged the last couple of days, but it's been really good to just like chat and hang out with B and her family, her sister, her mom. We had such a lovely day. Um, Sam will get here tomorrow morning and we're going on a boat, we're going to breakfast, we're going on a walk, uh, going shopping. I'm excited. <laughs> Wednesday it's like 7 30 right now we are up and getting ready to go on a hot girl walk we're gonna meet one of B's friends up and today I am wearing full free people same white top that I was in the other day then these light blue shorts that they sent me the other day they're super cute I have them rolled down a little bit because they're super high-waisted on me and then of course I've got my hokas on I know you guys have been wanting like an update on them because I have a pair of bond I eats. Those are my first ones, the orange ones that I always wear. And then I got these Clifton Nines from Urban Outfitters. I like the Clifton Nines because they're much more narrow, but the arch sits a little differently on my foot. And I honestly prefer the way the Bondi 8s hit my foot rather than these. I still love these, still think they're super comfortable.
good, you guys. We walked like four miles exactly this morning, but it took us a little bit longer than usual, like an hour and 40 minutes, which is kind of slow for me, but it was good to just like leisurely walk and chat. Um, we took a bunch of pictures of like just what was around us, some of the bars, things like that. And now um, we're gonna shower and get dressed, head over and get some breakfast from a spot that a follower recommended. We're going to Bayside Skillet today. This place is like all pink and one of my followers recommended coming to me. He was like, I was already planning on taking you there. I'm so excited. I don't know what I just got, but um, it looks good. It has cheese, chorizo. I'm just like in my like very savory breakfast era, but they are known for their crepes. So this came with a side of crepes and look at the ones they got. They got all the strawberry. We got bacon. These look amazing. What is that? Um, western potatoes. That was like so scramble. so different than what I could have ever expected that was gonna look like. Mm -hmm. It's like basically. What's on top of it? Cheese. Green That's peppers. all cheese. I think so. It's a lot. I'm ripping. Oh my of gosh. It. Yum. And we have a great view here. <laughs> Breakfast was a success, you guys. We're leaving fat and happy today. Okay, so B and her sister do a lot of the socials for a company, a local business here called Body Double, and they sell all kinds of expensive swimmer brands. And I just put on this bathing suit to take a picture in to help them out. It's from a brand called, what did I just say, Hun Hunzai? It's a London brand and it's one Hunza. size fits Hunza. It's one size fits all and it's so comfortable. I'm gonna have to reach out to them because I really, really, really like this and it's unlined and then I have a cute like little wrap that I'm gonna wear with it, but very fun. So cute. <laughs> All right, Sam's here, everybody, and we're getting ready to go on the boat. Woo! My suit's from Ari, my shorts are American Eagle, and uh, we're getting ready to get out of here. Okay. We're manifesting Woo! sunshine and no wind because it's supposed to be really windy right now, but we're not about that life, so we'll see. No. We'll see. Hi, guys. Did you miss me? It's been like four days since I see, I've seen Sam. No, actually. It feels like, well. like I was like, hey. <laughs> I have to go this time. It's really good. And B got a Mai Tai. Cheers, Cheers ladies, to a good Wednesday. Cheers. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't wash my, I didn't get my face wet. Every now and then I'll try to take that kind of shower because my makeup looks good and I didn't want to redo it. But um, everybody's gonna do a little post beach day getting ready sesh. We have rooftop dinner and then I think we're gonna bar hop a little okay, bit. Okay everybody, here is my outfit for tonight. Um, I'm wearing this cute little top from White Fox Boutique. So many people have asked me about this. I love it. I'm wearing my Calvin Klein jeans. I've got on little flat sandals from Dolce Vita and a cute little purse to match. Super casual tonight. Um, I figured this would be good for our little rooftop and then in case we go out. We're at a chic new spot. It's called Vista Rooftop. And we've got Hurricanes and Margs. Oh <laughs> Boy, do we have a spread going. I don't even know what these are. Cheese balls? 
Yeah. We've got another charcuterie board today. <laughs> We've got calamari. I just had a piece and it was really, really good. I've got a steak literally bigger than her head. I got short rib with cheesy grits and B got tuna. Did you Chicken. Did it came with it. Wow. I'm excited to try this though. Okay, our dinner spot was good. Good vibes, good food, a lot of food. Any entree, I would suggest splitting. Unless you're Sam Souter and then you can kill the steak on the <laughs> Um, we just came to Secrets, which is the spot to be. It's really dead here right now. But we're gonna, hopefully this Bahama Mama is gonna bring us to life and we're gonna rule this party. So cheers, cheers ladies, to a fun cheers. week in Ocean City together. Oh yeah. Good morning guys, it is Thursday. I didn't have the chance to vlog this morning because Sam and I were like scrambling. We didn't read our confirmation email for the ferry and we were like, oh my God, it says that we need to be there 30 minutes early and we were only gonna be 15 minutes early so we were like rushing but we made it in time. There's like so many people behind us. Um, it's not even funny so we're not late at all which is good news but um, definitely give yourself 30 minutes to despair just so you um, know but yeah we're taking the Cape May lose ferry from Delaware to Cape May New Jersey which is where Sam's shore house is you can take the ferry and then you only have like a 20 minute drive once you get there or you can drive like all the way up and around and it's like 140 miles like four hours so this seems like the right choice it's like ten dollars for a person and thirty seven dollars for your car so obviously you pay a little bit of the price but it's so much faster that we were like whatever so I've never been on a ferry I'm excited well I've been on one like as a person but not like as a car so I'm like very confused at what's happening but it seems interesting so I'm so excited to see Sam's second home and to see jump party tonight I'm just gonna keep this going into one vlog because I feel like I didn't really vlog too much um, this week it was like a more casual travel week more of just like a stay which was really nice so Wow we didn't think we were gonna make it, but we did. Like with, like, our our cars were literally like the last cars we the last that got on, but it's okay, because uh, we made it. So we're sitting outside. Sam said it's about an hour, 45 minutes. So uh, 45 minutes an hour. So we'll see. It's pretty though. Okay guys, we've made it to the Jersey Shore. Okay. Sam's family has a house in Wildwood. North Wildwood. And I... This is so much bigger than Ocean City and like I just assumed that Ocean City was much bigger. I'm like amazed at how big the boardwalk is and like there's rides everywhere. It looks so fun. I'm excited. It's going to be a good week. Um, we just picked up our passes for Bedford Country Music Fest. All four of us, well all four of us, there's two of us, but we each got two um, tickets and we're all general admission. No one's VIP besides her parents. <laughs> They're cool, they not us. It. They love it. Here. Look at Sam's cute little shore house. She's putting on lotion right now, and right now. we are getting ready to go lay out at the beach for a little bit. It's only like 12.30 right now, and we don't need to be ready for several, several hours. I was like, oh, we should sit inside and get some work done, but then I saw that the UV was 9, and I feel like I've been sun-deprived uh, lately ever since leaving Florida. So we're gonna go sit on the beach for a little bit and I really wanna read more of that book. I was I know, really, really I was into it. I hope so. that I can finish mine or like at least put a big dent in it because I'm behind on my summer reading. <laughs> Summer reading. I think like where my love for reading quickly stemmed was that in our elementary school, if you read five books, you got a free ticket to a baseball game. And wow, everything makes sense. It all makes sense if you know me now. And the more books you read, like if you read 10, 15, you would get several tickets. So Madison would like never be into it. And I'd be like, don't worry, like I can get us a ticket. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I just like I've been powering through. So I, didn't know if you read them or not. I don't remember if your mom had to sign off on it or like what it was the merit system. I'm sure, but anyways, I'm wearing the same airy bathing suit that I've been wearing the last couple days. I love this one. Okay, Sam, where do we go for lunch? Russo's. Okay. Russo's, and I got a buffalo chicken wrap. It was good, nothing exceptional, but it was good. 
and we've been sitting on the beach uh, lounging for a couple of hours. It started to clear out of it, but it was like chaotic, uh, typical East Coast beach that I remember from back in the day. I'm reading more of Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm like two thirds done. It's good. It goes back and forth about a girl, like if she had gone home with a guy or not gone home with a guy. So it's basically like the outcome of both scenarios and it's it's interesting uh, i really like tjr this is one of her first books i think so her reading her you can see how much her writing has developed in the last few years which is cool it's six o'clock i got sam to stay out here for like Five hours, that's notable, guys. Yeah. Um, she finished her book. Yeah, I read half a book in a sitting. What do you recommend? Um, not in the beginning, but it got really good at the end. Okay. But it was slow Which is burner. also what Jules said. Such a slow She burner, said it's though. like too, like everyone that reads One Italian Summer, I haven't read it yet. I've been waiting for Sam to finish. <laughs> I have to bring it back. It's actually Olivia's book, and the book I'm reading is also Olivia's Wait, book. And when Olivia gave me this book, she was like, uh, can you get the book back from Sam? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I think she's still reading. We're in Souter household. Mama Sue made us a uh, big ziti today. I've had it before. I'm a local here. Have you had her ziti before? Yes, at Aunt Debbie's. Make sure you know what tail is yours. Mine's all the way to the right. I've got a beatbox going tonight. I feel like I look like I have been drinking so much in my vlogs recently, but it's really just because there's been like a lot of activities happening. But um, anyways, here's my outfit for night one of Barefoot Country Music Fest, see John Party. My top is from um, Pepper Mayo, actually. My shorts are from Abercrombie. My boots are from Dolce Vita. My hat is from Vici Dolls. And today I have a mango beatbox. My hair is, I really don't want to wear a cowboy hat tonight, but my hair is really struggling. I've been really trying to embrace my natural hair. Um, not really by choice. I honestly forgot all of my hat tools on this trip. And it's just like, I hate my natural hair so much. I'm not gonna bring my camera with because you have to have a clear bag and I don't have a clear bag. So then I would have to hold my camera all night and I just know that's not gonna end well. So I'll be vlogging on my phone this evening. Talk like crazy. such a good night we just came home and we all showered and now I'm going to bed I'm sleeping on the bottom bunk thank god Sam's taking the top bunk um it's supposed to be kind of rainy tomorrow but I'm hoping and praying that it passes over so we can sit at the beach and I can finish my book but so good I wish John Party would have played California Sunrise but other than that he was amazing and played all the songs I wanted so we had so much fun yesterday oh my gosh um great vibes all around it is supposed to rain all day so we're gonna take it super easy just kind of hang out have a slow morning catch up on some computer work I really didn't think I was gonna have time to edit any YouTube videos this week but I'm starting to think that's not the case anymore so I'm gonna take advantage and sit down and start editing so gonna be lazy I know that tonight Riley Green is on and I think he's at like 7 30 so we're gonna head over there this evening and I can't wait
Okay guys, suddenly it's like four o'clock. I've been doing random tasks all day. I edited two YouTube videos. It's really struggling to upload to the Wi-Fi right now, but I'm hoping that it will work. I sent in some emails, chose some items for some upcoming trips. I ordered some more seven swim suits to bring to Cabo. And just posted some sponsored content for Lulu's. All right, you guys, we are getting ready for the night. I've got on a black dress from American Eagle. Definitely doesn't need a belt, but I wanted to give this like a little bit of something because it's a really casual dress. So I added this gold chain belt from Urban Outfitters. My boots today are from, I think, Dan Post. I've had them forever, but I never wear them because I don't usually wear black. But it's been raining all day, so it's supposed to be like pretty uh, wet outside. So I figured that black leather would be the easiest to clean off. So got my hair up since it is supposed to rain so I also rediscovered my big freckle pen when I was packing for this trip and I brought it with and they don't really look that good uh, Sam's mom says they look so good and Sam says they look so fake I don't think that they look really real but you know what they're done so we're just gonna have to be rolling with that tonight we're gonna go crack a drink open pregame for a little bit and then we're gonna head out to the concert mrs. Souders in the kitchen with me that's right it is like four o'clock or five o'clock in the afternoon so I lay down Bill and I are making our roadies for tonight. This is Sam's ex-boyfriend who's here for the weekend. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Remake. We're rebranding. <laughs> I got these surf sides. I really like Loyal's and the girl at the store told me these were similar. The packaging's super cute. I don't think they're that good. We're gonna have fun tonight. Wait, how come we're, we're seeing Riley Why Green tonight? And Blake Shelton is on the agenda. Oh yeah, I'm excited for Riley Green. This will be my third time seeing him. Yeah. Now wait about Blake Shelton. It's soft. I don't really care about Blake Shelton. Oh, I'm excited to see him, but like I'm not like Sorry, yeah. Bro, and then Darius Rucker tomorrow. Sam's dad bought us all ponchos, and I'm wearing a dress today, so I don't have like pockets. So everything is in my boot, like my ID, my credit card, my poncho. And Mrs. Souter thinks it's gonna rain. I'm betting that it's not going to. And we have, sh we have shot bottles in our boots. She has shooters in her boots. She has oh, shooters sorry. in her boots, but Sam does not. I didn't get one. They're looking a little bulky. Where was I supposed to crawl in to my degree? We had a good night, good rowdy night. Trying to get the sand out of my camera, guys. Sam was sitting on the ground, so she's got a sandy cam. <laughs> Anyways, um, Phil went out. What a gentleman. 
But yeah, I, I saw donuts. I already had some of this vanilla one. You gotta try the cream filled one. I don't really like cream filled donuts, but. Really? Oh my god. Anyways, today we're gonna hit the beach. I'm gonna meet. A She's bunch meeting more a of lot. Sam's She's meeting like so many friends from different walks of life today. Like I've like, like literally, I sincerely, like sincerely have like two people coming from each group of friends. Like I have one, my neighbor's coming from home, and her boyfriend, my college teammate Nellie, who's my best friend from college, is coming with her boyfriend, and then Phil's best friend is coming with his girlfriend, who I love too. So. Um, it's gonna be really fun today. They're all great people. They've never met each other either though. So like it's yeah, gonna be so I don't feel a as whole, overwhelmed because it's, it's gonna like be like a whole hodgepodge of people. Over. It's it's gonna be and really fun though. They're all like they're all like some of the most fun people that I know. And we're so. gonna have hamburgers and hot dogs and Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Like my my aunt's all outside. Good Wait, remember when Phil got a ten dollar ice cream gum? <laughs> <laughs> Phil, I forgot about your chocolate ice cream. Well, I got ice cream. <laughs> You don't remember that? You got a chocolate cone with chocolate jimmies like four bucks last night. Oh, really? Well, Sam bought it for you. How was it? I did buy it for you. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. I look really down bad, guys, but I actually feel completely fine. I just like look like a bus has hit me. Like, can we like get it for some? Anyways, um, She's like you just like pull the camera off and it's like I'm in the most like auto flattering like my split. We're going to the beach. Sam looks really tan right now because she's wearing neon and she has fake fake on and she has Tanologist, and baby. she has tanning oil over top. I'm wearing the same bathing suit for like the 74th day in a row. <laughs> Nirvana t-shirt. Phil's all here, ready to beach it up with us. Let's go. We made it to the beach. It's giving black sand beach vibes today. We're not really sure why the sand is so dirty here right now, but it is. But it's starting to fill in. It's like 10:30 right now. Phil's here, Sam's here, Mackenzie's here. I'm gonna finish my book today. I'm about to lather up on some Kapari. Get the steak. What's my hair doing right now? <laughs> rat tail. That's like so much worse than a rat tail. Okay, guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just finished my book. It was good. It was like a quick, easy Taylor Jenkins read. I didn't think that it was memorable though, or like noteworthy. I think it's her first book, her debut book, I think is what I just read. And her writing has like grown immensely. Like she's become so much better of a writer. Um, but it was still very good. I would recommend. And we're just hanging out. This is like my worst. Um, <laughs> this, look at the beach right now, guys. Look at how crowded it is. Like, wow, this is, this is not St. Petersburg anymore. So Sam's bringing 10 different people today that I'm meeting and the crew is coming at two. So it's like 12.30 right now. I figured I would come back to the house and take a shower. Got some good color today. Um, I feel so bloated because all I've been doing is eating shit and not working out and drinking. Um, so not feeling my most confident self, but let's get ready. Let's wash this hair. There's so much gel in it from last night. I literally feel so much better now that I washed my hair. There was so much product in it. Um, I'm spraying this stuff. I talk about it in like every single vlog. It's amazing. I saw that they came out with a mousse that I really want to try too. But anyways, I'm going to use the dry bar round brush on it today. It hasn't been like... I haven't been getting as good of results with it because my hair just like really needs to be cut. It's a little bit longer right now and my layers have kind of like all blended in. So I feel like it hasn't been like as cool and flippy, but that's the only hot tool I have here. So we're gonna make that work and then I'm gonna do my makeup. I just put on this stuff. I told you guys that I got this um, in my last vlog to try the under eye stuff from Good Molecules and I've been using it morning and night. I think it's pretty good. I still, like, it doesn't change the coloring of your eyes, but it definitely helps depuff them. So, anyways, my face is so pale compared to the rest of me, but what else? Is okay, the crew is gonna start arriving pretty soon. So, I just got dressed. My tank top today is from White Fox, and then the shorts from Abercrombie. I'm gonna end up wearing white boots, I think. But I didn't do freckles today. I did the fake ones yesterday, and I was like, I don't know, they looked super fake. So, today I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna go for it. But, yeah. Um, we're moving on to lemons. 
Guys, like I'm having the most East Coast summer vibes right now. Like I've never been on a trip like this, but it's like, I don't know how to describe it, but like it feels like something that I read about in a book so often. What, this here? Yeah, like just the whole vibe of this weekend. Okay, I didn't show you guys, but Sam finished making a pitcher of spicy margs. I'm not really a spicy girl, so I'm leaving some out to do one that's not spicy, but all my lemons and limes went to use. I'm switching over to the surf side because I need something a little lighter. This is lemonade and vodka, 4.5%. They're not that good, so it'll take me a while. Mr. Souter, our grill master. Low and slow. Low and slow. He just got us the dogs out. Mama Sue's got the pasta, pasta salad going. Guys, we're out back in the Souter family little pavilion area. We've been drinking, just hanging out, uh, getting to know each other. So basically this is like Sam's best friend from work, Sam's best friend from content, Sam's best friend from home, and Sam's best friend from college. Like kind of all meeting each other with her boyfriends. I'm like 10th wheeling right now, but it's okay. One day it'll be my time to shine and the boyfriend front, but we just got a drink for the road. We're about to head out of here. Darius Rucker's coming on at like 7 right now. So we're going to do that. And I'm excited. It should be a good time. Uh, I'm going to leave my hair home again. But I'll be sure to vlog on my phone. We're going to walk over. So, yeah. So Sam's supposed to be, quote unquote, taking it slow with her ex-boyfriend. This is the current status. This is a stranger. My ex-boyfriend is doing that. Oh! Hey, he already got a home run, Bill. last night but Darius Rucker was great we didn't get to see that much of Lady A um, we missed like the first half of her show but she was pretty good with the parts that we did see and then who was it that Phil was so excited to see um, Hardy Hardy had a couple good songs but I loved like we went through not meeting a bagel we're carved the last day how we last feeling day, best day mm -hmm. Parker McCollum is today. I'm so excited for him. Oh, yeah. 
I'm so happy that Darius Rucker played Firestone Start themselves. Like, if you guys, I don't feel like I've really talked about it in vlogs, but I talk about it so much in like my real life. But I listen to Fires Don't Start Themselves. Like, it's the first song that I put on in the car, like the entire last two and a half months. And it's like relatively new of a song. And I wasn't sure he was going to play it, but it did. And it was so good live. Okay guys, I just got to the beach. Gonna spend several hours here today. Starting a new book, One Italian Summer. No one I've no one that I know has like really loved this book, but I figured it'd be an easy beach read to get through just to check off the list, so. Just got home from a beach day. It was a good one. Got outside at like 10 30. It's like 3. I just got back. Um, Phil's gonna be here in like 30 minutes so to get the uh, afternoon's concert festivities rolling, which means I need to get ready. Take a shower. My face got some color. You can't tell because it still looks ghostly compared to the rest of me, but. Yeah, I just lathered my body in aloe and healing ointment because my chest got a lot of sun today, but um, all good things. Tonight's theme is red, white, and blue. I've got the white and the blue, no red. Um, my top is from White Fox. My shorts are American Eagle. Hat is Lulu's. I'm going to wear the hat tonight. I didn't wear one the last two days. And my makeup is all done. I tried the freckle pen again today. I don't know if you can really tell this way. Here they are. They look a little more real today because my pen is like dying. They're a lot more faint today, but anyways, my lashes look amazed. Um, Babe Lash, you guys know the drill. Both of those every day before I do my mascara. Um, and it will grow your lashes in like a week. I have a discount code too. I'll leave it linked down below. This isn't sponsored, but anyways, um, we are about to cook up some hamburgers, hot dogs, eat outside, uh, have a little drinky. I'm gonna take it easy tonight, I think. No, I don't think I'm gonna get up. Don't quote me. I don't think I'm gonna drink a beatbox today. I think I'm just gonna stick to some seltzers, so. So if you guys know me, you know I'm not really a, a veggie girl. I mean, I eat them like when my mom has them with dinner, but like not really voluntarily. But I have been like obsessed with peppers at this house. I don't know why. Sam's mom just keeps putting out veggie trays. And it just, one day I was like, I should probably just eat a vegetable and it was so good. Very refreshing. Um, I'm like addicted right now. Like, I just went in the fridge and got them on my own. <laughs> so mom, if you're watching this, we didn't have the feeder. Yesterday I ate like at least like three cups of that salsa too. And at first I was like feeling guilty and then I was like, it's really just tomato, green pepper and onion. So like, that's the healthiest thing you can do. I was gonna say, I'm just eating vegetables, so who cares? Guys, like I literally can't stop eating like hot dog and hamburger. And Sam put one random pepper on my plate even though I just had like seven. I have one of the surf sides left, so I'm drinking that right now, I'm nursing it. It's okay. I honestly think it's better today than it was. Okay guys, the crew is leaving. Beep, beep. We are uh, walking our way down. Who are we seeing Phil? Phil wants to see someone. That LX3. Laney Wilson, Parker McCollum, and then Kid Rock. Kid tonight. Rock. Kid and Rock's maybe shutting it down. Who knows? Hardy might come back for round two. Maybe. I'm excited for Parker McCollum. We'll I think he'll it. be good. Um, and we wanted to check it out during more of the daytime. So it's like five o'clock right now. We're walking over.
Parker McCollum. I'm from Conroe, Texas. It's my first time ever inside the state of New Jersey. Okay, Parker McCollum just ended. He was phenomenal. Okay. Parker like, McCollum so was amazing. Good. Guys, I just I just bought this John Party t-shirt for $40. The thing about me is I really don't spend money anymore, but when I'm drinking, I really spend money on t-shirts. T-shirts is my thing. In Nashville, I bought a $50 t-shirt, and this $40 t-shirt seems to be worth the money to me. What t-shirt did you buy in Nashville? The one that me and Jules bought the match. That was $50? I think I have gems on it. Cute rock. Show us what you got for your birthday, Phil. This is my party birthday present from my beautiful girlfriend, Samantha Sound. Beautiful ex, Samantha Sound. <laughs> <laughs> Music Fest was a success. Kid Rock was interesting. It was a lot, but he was good. I thought Parker McCollum was amazing. And I thought Lainey Wilson, I don't, she wasn't doing it for me. I just, like, she was really cute, but like she didn't sing anything that chill, I knew, like, and the crowd could not have been deader for her. But um, she did good considering the circumstances. But yeah, it was a great time. Uh, got a shower, head to bed, and take some pics tomorrow, and then we're getting out of here nice and early because I gotta be home um, early. So it is Monday morning. Sam and I are doing a quick little shoot before I get on the road. Um, I have to be home by 1 p.m. because I have to shoot and submit a M&M's collab. My stuff didn't come in time um, before I left for this little week adventure. So I have to do that today. So we're kind of in a little bit of a rush. This has been like more of, as you can tell, just like an enjoyment week, seeing people hanging out, um, not really a work heavy week so we haven't really like had any photo shoots or anything like that um just because it's been like a concert type of weekend we took pictures there which i'm sure you guys will have seen on instagram but today if we took any decent ones, if we took any decent ones. but this morning we are heading out in our fat boy suits for it this is what they look like oh sorry and um I have on my airy tank top and airy bike shorts underneath so that when I get in the car I can just take this off because it's a little hot out but yep we love you fat boy surf club these are our California friends if you guys need a refresher We just got our Fat Boy Surf Club pictures, and I think they actually turned out cute. I doubt Sam will have sent any to me by the time that this video is being edited, but if she did, I'll insert one here. I'm like stripping out of my sweatsuit though because it's like 90 degrees outside right now and I'm sweating. Um, but yeah, I just said goodbye to Sam and her parents. We had such a fun weekend. Um, it was really good to just like be here with her family. I love Sam's parents and just to see like this side of her life. We didn't I don't really do like as much as I like I wanted to like eat a funnel cake and go for a ride on the ferris wheel do the whole shebang but like we were just tired you know when you're like drinking and out in the sun all day I feel like it just like drains you to the point where we were like let's just rest on the beach and then go out for the evening and it ended up like being awesome so 
a really good time. I'll definitely be back at Perfect Country Music Fest next year if the lineup is even half as good as it was this year. I think my favorite was Darius Rucker though. He was awesome. Um, Riley Green was great. Parker McCollum was awesome. You know, good vibes all around. So I'm going to drive home right now um, and I'm going to start a new week in my life when I get there. I've got about a three and a half hour drive right now. So I said three and a half hours is the new 30 minutes, guys. Like I'm, I'm getting used to it right now. So I've got 190 miles to go, but let's kick it. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in three hours. <laughs>